Welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris. Today, you will meet my Fender American Vintage 55 Telecaster. Now, this is a limited run that was done for Wildwood Guitars. This is a guitar shop here in Colorado. Fantastic shop. Full disclosure, I actually worked there for a while, um, so I'm a little biased, but it's a great shop. They have fantastic inventory, and the guys are total geniuses that work there. Does that mean I'm a genius? No, not really. Jury's still out on that one. This is called a thin skin. So it's called that because it's got a very, very thin nitrocellulose lacquer finish, which allows the ash body to sort of breathe a little bit more and sort of vibrate a little bit more freely. I'm not into the whole physics thing, uh, but it sounds great. Um, this run of these guitars was made especially for Wildwood, and there's a few things about it that you can't get on other types of um, vintage style guitars from the Fender factory. One is a 9.5 inch radius, so it's a little bit flatter than most vintage style guitars. And it's got these uh, twisted Tele Fender Custom Shop pickups in it. So they're very, very spanky and wonderful. Um, sort of telly, um, you know, flavor to it. And the front pickup is... Really, really broad sort of dynamic range. These pickups are very, very responsive. So uh, it plays and sounds really great. Um, however, the guitar comes with a sort of unique story of, of how I got to buy this guitar. Not necessarily the, the ins and outs of how I purchased it, but more like why I purchased it, which comes with a story that is born out of sort of an unnatural hatred that I had for the Telecaster. I grew up in the 70s and 80s, uh, and that's when I started playing electric guitar. And so my heroes were Billy Gibbons, Jimmy Page, Eddie Van Halen, Peter Frampton. None of these guys played Telecasters. And so I didn't give the Telecaster the time of day, and I really thought, well, Telecasters are really for country players, right? I'm a rock and roll guy, had really long curly hair, and I was that's where I was headed. And, and guys in, that, in my view didn't play these guitars. Um, not to mention the fact that I thought it was basically pretty ugly. Uh, just like the aesthetic didn't really hit with me, it didn't really sit with me. So for years I just thought, well, tellies are what they are, They're, then that's not for me. Years later I attended music school and started to open my ears a little bit to other kinds of music. So I started listening to fusion and some more sort of aggressive jazz blues stuff like Robin Ford, Mike Stern. Roy Buchanan. These guys were playing telly style guitars and making sounds that I thought were pretty cool. So it started to sort of shift my mind on the Telecaster. Like, well, maybe that's maybe that's something that I should check out. Like, should I own a Telecaster? I played a few here and there and I just didn't like the way they played. They were very raw and, uh, and I felt like they were sort of harder to play than they needed to be. Um, they just sort of fought you back more than I, than I thought was, was appropriate. Um, so I just decided that was not gonna happen. Meanwhile, I'm listening to these guys, I'm seeing people sort of, and listening to p players play stuff that I really loved on Telecaster. So I started to think, well, maybe this is something I need to do. So uh, I was in an R&B band and uh, the singer had a Telecaster, so he let me borrow it on a gig. And it was sounded pretty good, but uh, just I still wasn't convinced. So I decided to buy one and sort of force myself to, to see what was there for me and own a Telecaster and have that experience. So uh, I bought a Mexican Telecaster. It was a double bound um, sort of hot rod red Telecaster with a, with a rosewood fretboard. And it was, it was not the quality instrument that I was looking for. And so I tried to play it on some gigs, but it just didn't really work out for me. Um, and and it, it was just, uh, so I sold it pretty much immediately. So more years went by, and then I heard uh, players like Josh Smith, uh, who's a Telecaster sort of genius, um, and I thought to myself, well, it's really about time that I just bone up and get one of these things. So I decided if I was gonna get a Tele, I had to get one that I would really, really love, right? And so I went to Wildwood, and when you go to a store like this, um, especially you know, in the, having a showroom experience, you get to play a bunch of these because they have such a huge um, uh, stock available. So I picked out a few in advance. We set a bunch up, and uh, I had an amp in the room. 
closed the door and I just started going through these. Now there was black ones and there were, you know, ones with the F holes and the humbuckers and I really didn't know exactly what I wanted, but I just was going to leave that place with a Telecaster. Um, and these white ones, these uh, white blonde 55s were on the list and I had a couple of them in there. Uh, and I really, you know, on a side note, I was like, I hope I don't fall in love with the white one because it was white with a white pick guard. And I thought, ah, it's just too sort of plain and virginy for me. It, it just didn't feel right. Um, lo and behold, I plugged these things in and this is the one that spoke to me. So I got a few of these white 55s, laid them out, picked the best one. This was the best one. Uh, and decided, well, you know, uh, guitars speak louder than, than other things to me and I'm not going to bother with worrying about what color it is. Uh, I just wanted a, a telly that I could really fall in love with and this was the one. So I got it home and then the white really started bothering me, right? And it was a white on white that really just was like, what is this? This is like, you know, is this a wedding guitar? What's happening here? So it just really wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. So I thought, well, I'll just get a different pick guard. I'll put a black pick guard on it, something, something with some contrast, right? So I'm looking around on the internet uh, and I'm, and I'm on Etsy, just like poking around looking for pick guards. Um, and I've got to get the right screw numbers and all the stuff. It's got to match up to the vintage style screw format, whatever. Um, and I stumbled upon the shop that puts these really cool images on to pick guards. And I was looking around and there's like tigers and lions and spaceships. And then I just clicked on this one image of this gunfighter. And I thought, well, now that makes sense to me. Something about this really, really sort of resonated with me right away. Um, and as I sort of get a little further into it, what I really think is that this gunfighter, this guy sort of, he epitomizes what I feel like when I play this guitar, which is sort of a combination of like super aggressive. He's in the middle of a gunfight. He's firing his six his six shooters. Uh, but if you look at his face, he also looks he looks a bit terrified. <laughs> and so so there's this great sort of combination of 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 this guitar. It makes me work, right? There's there's no place to hide on a Telecaster. You've really got to show up and and play. And so I feel a little bit like this when I play the guitar. I'm like, I'm, I'm putting it out and I'm, I'm doing my best, but I'm also like pretty nervous about what this thing could do to me. Like it fights you back. And I feel like when you do that, when you have a guitar that, that challenges you, um, you have to show up and you have to put your energy uh, into that, into, into playing it a little bit more thoughtfully. And you have to really sort of like make it happen. So I just like that these days. It just makes me feel like, um, like I'm working for it, not just phoning it in, right? That's the story behind this guitar. It's got great touch sensitivity. Like the pickups are just the dynamic range on this guitar. It's probably, with the exception of my Les Paul, the most uh, intimate sounding and uh, the guitar with the, the widest dynamic range, the best touch sensitivity. Um, so, so it's really something special for me. Okay, so there it is, 55 reissue Tele. Uh, with the crazy sort of gunfighter pick guard. Let me know in the comments what you think about this guitar, which guitar you'd like to see me do next uh, in this series. I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Oh, I'll see you next time.